Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to uh, talk about the balloon again because, I mean, that's what people want to talk about. Uh, we will go over the two most common questions, and uh, and then then I have one that I find really interesting. Okay, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about, like you missed all of social media and the news and everything else um, over the weekend, a, uh, a large surveillance balloon, a Chinese surveillance balloon, flew across the United States. Now, we talked about it, we, we talked about it a few days ago. Surveillance over flights are nothing new. They happen all the time. Not a big deal. Um, they, they, they are occurring, I assure you, they're occurring right now, whether it be plane, something exotic, or satellite. Okay, this isn't a big deal. They shot this one down. They shot this one down in the Atlantic. Um, now, DOD has confirmed that it happens all the time. Um, using balloons, in fact, they have said, yes, this type of activity is increasing. It's happened a few times over the uh, last several years, to include under Trump. So just go ahead and stop that line. Um, and, uh, yeah, they didn't shoot any of those down. So the two questions that are obviously coming in is, one, why did it take so long to shoot it down? And, uh, two, why did they shoot this one down when they didn't shoot down the other ones? Why did it take so long? Um, my guess is the the second part to this, <laughs> the other question, took a little bit of time to reach. Um, but once the decision was made, there, there was still going to be a delay because you're talking about something the size of a few buses, two or three buses, at 60,000 feet. What is up will come down, especially if you poke a hole in it, which is what's going on. People seem to be imagining a balloon, like like a party balloon. Uh, this had a giant uh, technology bay, a bunch of components. Having something like that fall on your home from 60,000 feet and hit, I don't know, your kid's bedroom in the middle of the night, you would probably think that was totally uncool. Um, now, you do have some people, including a senator, um, asking, well, you mean there was nowhere along the way that, that they could they could make that decision. They could they could make that decision and shoot that thing down and it, it'd be safe anywhere that it went. I find that hard to believe. Okay, Mitch, <laughs> stop acting like you're brand new. It doesn't suit you. Sure, there are probably areas along the route that were less risky. But given the fact that the debris field is seven miles wide, no, not with the same degree of certainty they would have over the water, which is where they put it down. Recovery option, operation goes into effect. They're getting it all, and they will transfer it up to a, quote, FBI lab in Virginia. Um, so that's why it took so long. Why did they decide to shoot this one down? Okay, well, what was different about this one, and all the other times. Me and you. That's the difference. We, we, we knew about it. What the American public doesn't know is what makes it the American public. When the American public found out about it, and people took to Twitter and Facebook and everywhere else to talk about how scary it is and all of these horrifying possibilities, even though that most of them knew it wasn't true, they were just doing it to be sensationalist and get clicks, um, it scared people because that was the goal of the people putting this kind of stuff out. When those people got scared, it created an outcry. And then one of two things happened to my way of thinking. Either DOD walked in talking to the president was like, hey, people really want us to shoot this thing down and we'd kind of like to play Humpty Dumpty with it and see if we could uh, put it back together again, figure out how it works. And Biden was like, well, okay, fine. Or Biden saw everything that was going on, people scared, 
realized that because it happened under Trump and Trump didn't do anything, if he did this, he would look good. He alleviated the concerns of Americans who were scared because of their uncle on Facebook. And uh, he, he acted for what were, would be political reasons. Um, now, is, is that right? It depends on whether or not the other things apply. If he's acting for political reasons and the U.S. military really didn't want to play Humpty Dumpty with this thing, um, that would be fine. If he acted on political reasons and they already knew everything they needed to know about it, that's kind of not because there's going to be foreign policy fallout from this. We've talked in the past, it's normally about other countries, but this is one of those examples where the domestic situation ends up impacting foreign policy. China's going to have a response to this of some kind. Um, so those are the, the two ways that I can see the decision being made to shoot it down. That's, that's how I think it happened. One of those two. Okay, but it was shot down. Here's my question, because this really weird and unexpected thing happened. The Chinese are insisting it was a civilian craft, knowing that the U.S. is going to recover it and play with it and analyze it. I mean, that's odd. That's not something you would expect. Unless it is a civilian craft. And by that, I mean the instrumentation on it is uh, dual purpose, has more than one use. What they will find on it could reasonably, plausibly be explained away by civilian purposes. <laughs> and that would be a very unique outcome. Now, keep in mind, just because something has civilian purposes doesn't mean that it doesn't have military purposes. There are a whole lot of civilian agencies that started out under the War Department because they had military applications. And that's why the government got involved with it. And then it became its own standalone civilian thing. That's pretty common. Uh, so, what might happen here is all of the stuff that people were talking about as far as, you know, clarity of image. That was one of the big ones. That's why they might use a balloon over a satellite. It may not even be that kind of instrumentation on board. Um, for the first time, I'm actually genuinely curious what's going to be on it. Um, I, I, have a, I have a guess, but... I mean, it's a guess. So those are the two questions that came in the most um, and, and the one that I have that I find really interesting all of a sudden. But yeah, there was probably not a place that they could be as certain that nobody would be injured. Um, keep in mind, a lot can happen when, when something is falling from 60,000 feet, it, it's, it's kind of hard to uh, determine where it's going to fall. Um, even, with, even with them putting all the time and effort they did into choosing the location to hit it off the shore, it still actually didn't land where they wanted it to. And the debris field is pretty big. That, that's why that decision was made. So, and uh, yeah, the reason they shot it down is because we found out about it. Not because it was a threat. Not because it was scary. If it was a threat, they wouldn't have waited. They would have shot it down before then. They would have shot it down and taken the risk of it hitting somebody's home. The fact that they waited shows it wasn't a risk or it wasn't a threat which please keep that in mind when you're consuming information about the next thing 
from the people who turned this into something that was terrifying and presented a whole bunch of scenarios that many of them aren't even plausible. Some of them, like, aren't even, like, physics wouldn't allow some of it. So just stow away, file away the, the, the people who were really sensationalist about this. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.